hello 605 subscribers questionable amount of whom are actually watching welcome back to my youtube channel where i do a variety of things um today i'm alone it's the fourth of july if you hear a bunch of fireworks going off that's why I'm 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 doing a bit of a loser activity tonight. My parents are going camping without me my, of my choosing and my boyfriend is out of town so I'm at home alone doing what I please which tonight is filling you in on my latest endeavor which is trying to write Sorry my dog was barking. Not exactly sure at what but he gets anxious around a lot of things, and it's the 4th of July, so maybe expect that to happen a few times. Also, it's not very good lighting, but I don't have a ring light or anything official like that, so... If you like my content and wish I had better lighting, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos, because if I get a, th a thousand subscribers and st uh, a certain amount of watch hours, which I don't remember right now, but I'm very far behind, I can start putting ads on my videos and getting the money from it, so you should do that so I can afford better lighting. <laughs> that sounds natural. So basically, the project I want to talk about today is a short film called Whisper Woods. That's my working title for it. I'm not totally attached to it, but I do feel like it's pretty good, and for some reason, I feel like it'll grow on me as I finish this project. Basically, I wanted to talk about my project idea today, update where I'm at with it, and then kind of vlog the process into, like now until I either finish this and publish it on my channel or give up. But I'm really hoping I, I'm really hoping nothing gets in the way of this one and I'll actually be able to publish it. All right, Finn is joining us both for his comfort and for easier access when I need to comfort him. Okay, Finn? I was heavily inspired by a couple of other um, sort of writing vlogs, which I didn't really know was a thing you could do, but I'll link the videos I watched by a couple of other pretty small channels, so that's really cool. Um, and I really liked how they did it, and it inspired me to maybe do my own. For this video at least, I'd just like to take you through what I have so far, my process is how, I, how did I got there, and then sort of what I'm working on next, my goals, my timeline, and um, what I want to work on tonight, because I do want to do quite a bit of work on it tonight if I can. So come along for the ride. So the first thing I want to say about Whisper Woods, which is my idea for my short film, is that it's actually an idea I've had for a very long time. Like, six or seven years now has this, like, a, six or seven years ago did I come up with a very rough, nebulous version of this idea, but it's definitely transformed a lot since I first came up with it, and I tried to flesh it out a little bit, like, a few years ago, but looking back at it, like, I found the old drabbles and drafts in my old Keltex projects, because I went to go use Keltex at first, because that's what I'm used to, but... All of my project slots were full and I'm not about to pay for a full Caltex membership, so I'm using Trailby this time. But anyway, going back to that, not really a fan of the direction I took it, kind of cringe, but that's how art works, isn't it? We make art and then we cringe at it. So this time I went in a little bit of a different direction, but definitely still the same basic themes. Basically, I had an idea, the very basic idea was for there to be a group of wilderness scouts, which are more like boy scouts, but not just boys. So they do camping and wilderness outdoor stuff. A group of these wilderness scouts are out camping in a remote forest and they're telling scary stories and there's a story about a witch. And then the campers basically get disrupted. My very basic idea actually was just that the campers, two or three of the campers, somehow find the witch that they're, they hear a story about and that's supposed to be scary. And the witch is actually just another like 15 year old kid like them. And because 
they're just like the wilderness scouts or whatever, so I'm thinking like middle through early high school age. And they're just another kid in that age range, and they live alone in the woods, and they're cool, mysterious, and that was basically all I had. Then, I, when I went back to flesh it out, I was like, okay, what if the witch's dog was missing, and the kids helped the witch find the dog, and that was the basic premise of the story, like, the very basic premise of the plot. That was basically all I had until, like, a few days ago, when I was like, I really, really, really want to make a screenplay this summer, what could I make? What could I make? What could I make? So, when I sat down to flesh it out, the first thing I thought of is, the dog maybe is like going after something and runs through the camp and that's just like a simple way for the dog to in meet the campers and it can be scary and like you know the witch can be there like looking for it. At that point I didn't really know where to go with it so I looked up a bunch of information online like both asking AI like what's the right write writing process how to write the screenplay. And I looked up YouTube videos specifically on how to write screenplay sh for short films. And I looked at a lot of articles online. And I noticed that something really important was my characters. One big inspiration I had for this as far as how I wanted the plot and the characters. Not, not exactly the characters, but the whole feel of the film was, is mm, Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Kind of basic to say at this point in the film, you know, Cloud. I don't know how to describe that, but kind of a basic thing to say at this point, but Wes Anderson is one of my very favorite, all-time favorite film directors. I wasn't exactly sure why I liked him. I mean, I could say, like, his style just really appeals to me. I like how, you know, he combines... Like I always said, actually what I always said about why I liked Wes Anderson was that I loved how his characters felt so real and their problems felt so real and the emotion felt so real, but the world was very stylized and fantastical. And then I read an article while I was doing research for this film project about Wes Anderson's film style and one of the things it said was that he always writes about outsiders and there's always some kind of outsider involved in his story and he basically brings real life real problems into a fantastical story book like Child by the World and that really made everything because and why it's always appealed so much to me not only just people, just something about his work, but also the fact that I obviously like many feel like outsider and I also love that fantastical world and I feel like this is something I would speak to and so it's a really like this goes into mind and almost from any side, I don't know what other creators, I don't know what other well-known directors do at least. So I guess that's why he's famous, because he's unique, that's why everyone's famous. For the most part, there's industry plants sometimes, but that's off topic. So my characters are Willow, Robbie, and Meg. Not until a little bit later on did I realize that Robbie and Meg are siblings, but I decided Robbie and Meg are siblings. Robbie's 13, Meg's 14, and Willow is 15. Willow is the witch that lives in the woods, and Robbie and Meg are two of the wilderness scouts, and they're the scouts that go on the adventure to find the dog. So the dog one of the is things named that Gino. I hear people do a lot to inspire them to get flowing with their, turn their concept into more of a structured idea is, that I think is actually a really good idea and I will definitely try next time, like doing a Pinterest board with a bunch of images that just speak to you and feel like the vibe and then kind of drawing from the specific things in those images to piece together kind of what elements could make up your story. And I think that's a really good idea, but I kind of already had, um, more of a story. I thought that, I mean, I thought I had more of a story, but then when I sat down to write my synopsis, that was actually a different story. So over here, I have this mood board, which is just images I got off of Pinterest. It doesn't really, it didn't really tell me a lot. It was just things I already knew, but I put that down there. Here's the, the scouts, as you can see. This was maybe what I drew inspiration off to design Willow. This is what I would have the camp sign look like, but I wouldn't, I would have it obviously say the name of the camp in my film. Okay. So I have my themes up here, unlikely friends, teamwork, dangers of assumption, prejudice, the quest for identity and belonging. My biggest inspiration, I totally got sidetracked, but I was saying I'm draw, I draw on Moonrise Kingdom. I st just started talking about Wes Anderson and then stopped. But Moonrise Kingdom is a big inspiration for this piece. Obviously, you can see the scouts are the, are the same, very similar. Not the same, but scouts are very similar. None of the characters are very similar. 
but the overall vibe and whimsy and age range is def and and you know purity level of the story is definitely something i'm going for like it's a really sweet story and i love how sweet it is and i love that movie i have tattoos of both sam and susie so in big inspiration is moonrise kingdom i looked at the script for the moonrise kingdom and that also gave me inspiration um I had a random thought of an actor who might be able to play a character and also an idea of someone who I could ask about putting out, helping me um, find people to that would want to go to a casting call who's involved with like a theater group. So that's just like more of the logistical stuff because this is a short film and I do want to get this out as fast as possible. So I was trying to think realistically when putting my ideas down. Um, then here's the name I came up with. And then I tried to start to come up with the characters, but I didn't really do a lot of that on there. I actually found that the next step in my process was making character documents. So let me open up my character documents and tell you about those. So I will link this in the description, but I found a really cool list of character questions to ask yourself about your character. And it helped so much and and the article it was from it said by the end of this your character will probably be reaching out of your page and grabbing you they feel so real and honestly true i really feel like it did a lot for my characters i'm really happy with how they turned out i'm really excited to write their story something i found out via youtube is that a treatment is a really common thing to create for a film even a short film before you create the script which makes sense because it has a lot of things you'd need and also it's a good thing to send people who you're trying to get involved with it because it just has all the basic things you need to know about it um but also i also i wrote a log line huh i almost forgot about the log line that was like uh one of the first things actually i think i wrote the log line before i developed the characters so just put that in there <laughs> and my log line or i'll share my log line Two young nature scouts' expectations are turned upside down when they embark on a mysterious quest through the woods with an unlikely friend. So I was really proud of that. And that really set the tone for how I wanted to develop the synopsis, which is basically the main part of the treatment, which is what I did next. It's basically as far as I've gotten, to be honest. It's quite a good synopsis, I feel. There's a lot to work with. I'm really excited about it, but it's definitely a synopsis I would heavily revise um, before sending it to anyone who I wanted to like take this project seriously because it's not necessarily written to professionally. There's inconsistencies in how detailed it is throughout and I do use a quotation at the end just because I wanted to capture that someone says that line but I didn't use any quotes or dialogue in the entire rest of the synopsis so that's not, you know, a great a great thing obviously but it was a great way to just get out all my ideas and so that's what I would recommend at least because that's what I would do is after you have you know your rough concept and your characters put them in the beginning of that situation and be like okay what's the beginning middle and end what would these characters do how would they get into this situation which I know I want them to be in um, and write as much as you can so like if you don't it is a, just a synopsis so if you don't know exactly like what they're gonna say to like reveal all this piece of information you can just write so and so reveals that blah 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 you know but if you do know that you can write that detail because it'll help you when you write your script that's my theory i'm not a pro or anything <laughs> so now my next step is to write my script and I'm very excited to do it, as I said earlier. As I said earlier, I'm doing it on the free program Trelby. Don't have very much because I started it today and then I had a horrible meltdown, like in the middle of starting it and it really high key threw off my day as those tends to. But now I'm determined to still get some work done on it, even though it's 8.19. Yeah. I guess I'm just going to take my synopsis and plug away trying to turn it into the script. If I'm in doubt, this is what I do, this is what I'm doing, look at someone's official screenplay and just see what it looks like. I'm looking at Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. Wes Anderson and let me give credit where credit is due. Roman Coppola 
hope I said that right. That is the other rider of Moonrise Kingdom. Okay, wish me luck. Hello, it is the next morning, and I just wanted to give a little bit of a writing update. Um, excuse my really smudgy makeup. I just went to sleep yesterday in it because I never take it off. Um, and I don't care enough to do anything about it with filming this. But I just wanted to say it's the next morning. I worked quite a bit on it. I didn't go to bed until like 11 30 like I really worked from like 8 30 or so when I first started filming to right until I went to bed at around 11 30 and just to give you a good understanding of at least how my speed is I only wrote nine pages which kind of just doesn't seem like that much to me like looking back on it thinking about it as a whole nine pages doesn't seem like very much but you know, I was really proud while writing it. It felt like I was pumping a lot out. And then I thought about, you know, traditional, a well-formatted screenplay should come out to about roughly one minute per page if it's formatted correctly. So right now, I guess I have nine minutes of my screenplay roughly done. My characters uh, have had the inciting incident. They have met Willow the Witch, and they are helping her search for her dog, Juno. One thing I'm realizing while trying to convert this is there's a lot in my synopsis, like, which is honestly a good problem to have, like too many plot points. And then I realized I'm already nine pages into my like 15 minute short film screenplay and that's a lot to happen and we're gonna keep things as brief but potent as possible that's what i'm kind of trying to do because at this point i have a plethora to draw off of for my inspiration for these characters in this world it all feels very real to me i feel very excited about it and now it almost comes to trying to limit myself a little bit to make sure i'm not over tempted by sharing these details and trying to put as much in as possible into this story when it is only a short film and it only needs to have what it needs to have to tell this story effectively and so i'm trying to piece that together and i'm hoping to finish this first draft of my screenplay today since i'm probably about halfway through or over halfway through and it's it's going pretty good, so that's my update. I'm gonna work on it some more over some coffee. Okay, so here's my update. I finished my first draft. I finished my first draft of this short film. I don't know, it's just the first draft. I'm trying not to worry too much. But I finished it, I told myself I was only gonna write for a little bit this morning, but then I just got so carried away and it just started coming out. It practically wrote itself, I was like, I just gotta finish this right now. Just get this first draft out. And that's what I did. So I've got 17 pages, which you know, a little long for a 10 to 15 minute short film script, but it's just the first draft people, it's okay. I'm so excited. I think next I'm gonna print this out and you know, start reading through it at maybe take a break, get a fresh mindset, I'm gonna read through it, and then I'll start with my first edits. Here's Nico. But, that's basically it for now. Like, that was my goal this week, was finish the rough draft of my screenplay, and I just did it, so I'm really proud. Um, I'm really proud. I will continue to update on this 
filmmaking journey and good luck with your projects, whoever's watching. And thank you so much for joining me for this ride. Um, pumping out my, pumping out my rough draft. And I can't wait, I can't wait for what's next. Nico says bye.